uh, is there anything else we need to do for the season or something like that in the bottom? Uh, okay, um, this one here? Yeah. You know what, if I'm being honest, this is a new <laughs> setting that they've... I know this one, this is a new setting. Let me read it a second here. Okay. If you on, if you turn it on and edit it, you will see the options. Oh, uh, I see, okay. Let me turn it on. Edit. So you, they're saying um, different minimum. Okay, I see. Okay, um, no, for you for a new listing, I wouldn't get into all these customizations. This, however, is useful as Price Labs. Price Labs, um, they're they're a great company. They they they're very in tune with what we want. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. There's for for me, there's basically two seasons. There's a high and a low. I change the base and the minimum. However, it's not just it's not just like that. High to low season with a with a snap of the fingers. Okay. It's gonna gradually go up and gradually go down. The video will be back shortly, but Reishi and Luna really had something to say. So I, I don't think you actually need this because you're going to be, you should be monitoring it every week. That's what I do, that's what you should do, especially at the beginning. So I'm gonna say no for now, definitely no for now. Something you might be interested in though is occupancy-based adjustments. I have a video on this. Here it is. Occupancy-based adjustments tutorial, full tutorial from start to finish, things to watch out for, what it's for, what it is not for. So if, it, and I'll just tell you briefly what this is. This is a more robust okay. version. Occupancy-based adjustments is a more robust version okay. of custom seasonal profile. This one bases your pricing okay. on so your occupancy. It changes your pricing based on occupancy. This one changes your pricing based on dates. Thank you.